We're here at the Liberty Global Tech Summit. I'm talking here to Bob Green, and he just made a nice announcement. We had where a question, what are you going to do with catalog sales? I mean, what are you going to do with the success of Netflix, and how is it going to work out with your uh, set-top box? Well, we're very excited to announce that we are going to be putting Netflix onto the set-top box uh, beginning this year. Uh, it'll be rolling out not only in the UK, where we've been testing it for the last year and a half, mm -hmm. uh, to Netherlands this year, and then the rest of our countries in 2017. So now, you'll be able to just click on Netflix on your set-top box, you won't have to go to another device, you won't have to go to another input, find another remote, and have all the content right there in front of you on your TV. So Ziggo and uh, Liberty are going to take care of you and make you the Netflix experience. So does that mean I basically sign up, uh, automatically my email and my sign-up name is done and uh, it's going to be ending up on my cable bill? Initially, we are not going to be billing for Netflix. You'll go through the normal billing process you do with Netflix, which is generally a credit card or a, or a a bank card. Mm -hmm. uh, we are talking with Netflix in terms of the potential to bill for them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're interested in that. We're interested in that. We just want to see what all the pieces of that puzzle look like. Okay. You've already done this in the UK. Virgin Media, I believe, is the name of the company who's doing that. What, are, what is the experience with uh, Netflix? How much, what percentage of the time do people take through the setup box and you know, either through the phone or the iPad or, the, or, or other devices? Yeah, Netf I'll tell you, the, the experience in, with Virgin has been really positive. Netflix has provided better value to our customers. We see churn rates that are improved. Uh, we've had nice uptake into packages when we've used Netflix as a promotional vehicle, you know, buy this package and get Netflix free for three months. Mm -hmm. um, and that has, has generated a tremendous amount of value for the business. Yeah. And what is the value for you? I mean, I can see the value for Netflix, but what's the value for you to basically sp give you space on the set of box? The value for us is that we are committed and always will be committed, and as Mike Fries will talk about, committing to bringing you the very best entertainment content we can. And, and Netflix has great content, whether they've licensed it exclusi exclusively or in their great original shows like House of Cards or Narcos and so forth. We can't get to that content any other way but by bringing Netflix onto the set-top box. But it's not a traditional kind of thing like with HBO, right? I mean, uh, you, what, what, what does it, is there a money flow between Netflix and, uh, and you? Well, it is different in the sense of with, with HBO until just recently, yeah. the only way they could get to us as consumers was through a cable company or a satellite company. Yeah. Netflix never was that way. They were always a direct-to-consumer business. So there's a difference there. And so we are acknowledging that difference and using Netflix as an app on our set-top box that's delivered via the internet yeah. uh, versus HBO, which we put onto our servers and, and bring it up that way. Okay. One more uh, question about the uh, UK experience. Can you say that, uh, for example, 20% of the time on the set-top box is spent inside Netflix and that is total, uh, and that maybe is 50% of the total amount of time that the consumer spent inside Netflix? How Sticky, is it? Yeah, great question. We haven't, we haven't shared... Thank you, for, thank you for giving me a compliment. <laughs> well, it is a good question. Uh, we haven't shared any of the, of the usage data and, and, and won't be, but um, I can tell you that Netflix is high usage online. It's high usage on the television as well, uh, and our customers like it. It hasn't, it hasn't dominated the rest of the content, mm -hmm. but it is certainly one of the higher viewed services. More than PVR? Replay TV? Uh, Virgin doesn't have Replay TV, so I can't answer that right now. Really? Your they, most successful feature, yeah. Well, that's because it's TiVo couldn't handle the Replay piece of it. So next generation EOS box that goes into Virgin yeah. that will have, you really want to nice, will have the TiVo interface on it, but it will be the back end, which then will be able to do all the things that Horizon does. Yeah, that was one, one of my questions. Yeah. How long do we have to deal with that horrible set of box? I mean, when are you going to do it inside the network? Well, I think the term... You're already doing it with old, with old networks, right? With yeah. old boxes to do everything but you need on the, in the back of? The interesting thing is you need a set-top box of some sort. I think the question that people have, the issue that people have with set-top boxes is this big hunkin' box, where do I put it? It's, I don't want to see it. And, well, and it doesn't work and the software upgrades are a pain. I mean, you really... It's, well, those, it's are those are different issues, which are yeah. fair. Um, so the set-top box is never going to go away. Apple TV is a set-top box. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Roku is a set-top box. Chromecast is a set-top box. Mm -hmm. A smart TV has a set-top box in it. Mm -hmm. So the term or the phrase uh, set-top box going away, I don't think will ever happen. Yeah. It's what you determine as a set-top box will change. Mm -hmm. Well, Certainly will it go inside the TV then? In that way? Potentially, you know, potentially. Uh, but yeah. television manufacturers, they don't want to put ex extra costs into their, into their television and they're, they're declining prices. So that's that uh, we don't look at a set, uh, Samsung or a Sony having the capabilities that a Horizon would have or X1 would have in the U.S. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Our pleasure.